pomp, pomp and circumstance. If I was about to get a dog right now, I'd probably get a Pomeranian. I'm kind of hungry. You know what sounds good? Palm and granite. No. I have a confession to make. Whenever a fashion trend comes around that I like, I go overboard. So when I was in high school and puffy vests were in, I literally had like 20 of them. When Doc Martens were cool, I had 11 pairs. It's just, I go crazy when I love something and there's nothing wrong with that. So today we're gonna make it rain pom-poms. It all began when I saw this sweater online. I fell in love immediately and I said, I will have you. You will be mine, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I, okay, that's not true. I did find it online at several retailers, but it was like $500 each and it was always sold out. And then I did find one on ASOS that I liked, but it was sold out in my size. So I decided we're just gonna make it. And then as soon as I started thinking about making it, all of a sudden I started thinking about all the other things I could put pom-poms on. So today I'm gonna show you how to pom-pom this sweater, pom-pom a few other things. You could pom this, 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 this. So the first thing you're gonna need is obviously pom-poms, pom-poms. So you can get these yarn pom-poms. I got these at Michael's or you can make these yourself. I'll link to a tutorial and the machine that you need for that below. You can get this or this, same thing, different colors, downtown here in LA, or you can get them at your local fabric store, or you can just use a free keychain pom-pom, which are available anywhere, really. Claire's, Forever 21, online. There's actually a pack I saw on Amazon for like $19 for 12 of them, so these are awesome too. The next thing you're gonna need is something to attach your pom-poms to whatever you're gonna be attaching them to. So I actually got these safety pins, they're gold, because they're pretty. I got these uh, for a couple dollars at the fabric store as well. And the good thing about safety pins is that whatever you pin, it's temporary. You don't have to worry about sewing it or washing it or anything. So I'm actually gonna use these to fasten them to my sweater today, just so I can use my sweater without the pom-poms if I so choose. You can also use Velcro dots, fabric double stick tape, or a good old fashioned needle and thread, which I swear I packed, but I can't find it anywhere. I actually just stole it from the hotel. That's fine, right? I mean, that's there for the taking. And the last thing you need is whatever you wanna put pom-poms on. You could put pom-poms on a pillow, shoes, a hat. But today I'm gonna show you how to make this super cool pom-pom sweater that I'd seen online. Um, here's one, here's another. They're like $500 and they were sold out everywhere and I couldn't get it out of my head. So I thought, why not just make it? So I got this sweater from Gap. It was 40% off, but you probably have a sweater laying around in your closet that you can use that will work just fine. And we are gonna attach pom-poms so we can look like a crazy fashionista. So I'm just gonna use these yarn palms and I'm gonna attach them with the safety pin to the sweater. So again, you can remove it and wash it or what have you, but they're gonna look awesome. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, it's really easy. Open up that pin and then you gotta dig down into like the nucleus of this sucker. You gotta make sure it's like nice and strongly attached. These safety pins might be a little small. You might wanna use a little bit bigger ones if you're going with a jumbo palm like I am. Um, but I'm just gonna stick it in there right in the middle. So I put the safety pin in the yarn and then I pinned it right to the sweater. So cute, so easy. So I'm just gonna repeat that as many times as I want to get a few palms going on the sweater and then I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> this like pom-pom radar and I realized you could put pom-poms on everything which I know we already covered but here's a couple things that you probably have lying around at home that you could really easily attach pom-poms to and like I mentioned earlier uh, most of these pom-poms have this little elastic part which makes it super convenient to stick on a hat all you need to do is grab a hat I'm sure most of you have a baseball cap lying around I have this hat from anthropology I actually put these pins on it it's cute uh, and then I just tucked it right around the button on the top. So it's super removable, but really fun. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to pom-pom these shoes. I saw shoes like this when I went to Japan in April and I was going crazy over them, but they don't make shoes in Japan for anyone over a size US 7. And your girl here got like size 10 feet, so. I actually just got these Vans from Madewell and I just stuck the little elastic guy right on the shoelace. Whoop, whoop, so easy and so cute, right? 
make a little bunny shoe. And if you wanna make a pillow or a blanket, I'm actually gonna link to a super cute tutorial that you can do below that a girl I follow and love on Instagram did. And it was just a way to attach pom-poms to a blanket. All you need to do is take a needle and thread or actually yarn will work better because it'll be a little stronger. And then just use that to just do a one, two stitch. Attach those little buggers. Ah, my cats are gonna love this. So that's it. I hope you guys had fun pom-poming stuff with me. Uh, I wanna see all of your pom-pom DIYs. So if you make something, please tag me. I'm at Alex Michael Man Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. I wanna know what DIYs you guys wanna see next. So comment below and let me know and I will make a video. That rhymed, cool. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Wait, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> okay.